this project was incredibly influential because it was widely published and it was doing some things that we try to do today and that is environmental regionalism. So the big umbrella over this structure shields the main structure from the direct Florida sun. They were doing some routine maintenance and one of the workers basically was kind of fussing around with a screwdriver and pushed it right through the building, which is never a good sign. Right. And then they started taking off the trim and kept on like unraveling the problem. And then we got the call. We kind of rushed over here because they were talking about kind of almost a collapse of this entire facade. We, we were shocked to see how much this header has rotted and how much it's been sagging over the years. Because it is a historically designated house, we have to actually replicate the exact profiles for everything. Right. I would say we got to two dozen, close to two, right. two dozen sketches. The original design had this H and then the loading and the hinge point are such that uh, to make the span work, uh, there was a series of two by sixes. And instead of being in the normal direction, uh, which would take the loading, there was more loading in the wind load than there was in the dead load. So what we did was we put window stops of aluminum bar on the inside. So it's about a three six inch, inch thick yeah. aluminum bars that go top to bottom, stiffeners on yeah. either side. So it's almost like a, a, a flitch beam but with the metal on the outside. It comes to then the horizontal, and we got rid of all the layers because we used actually engineered uh, yep. piece. We decided to go with a PSL, Paralam stranded lumber. So even though we detailed it to be water resistant, the nature of the wood itself is water resistant as well. Yeah, so we're trying to do a better version of what they didn't have in terms of materials yes. back in 1953, because that wasn't available. So the verticals are engineered lumber, the horizontal is engineered lumber, the glass going up on top is actually gonna be not plate glass anymore, but tempered glass. Right. So we've updated it, but to the eye, the main thing that we've accomplished is it looks like we were never here. Getting there is also quite difficult. We're actually in hurricane season, and if you kind of look through, you'll see this big structure of plywood that's actually doing a couple things. It's supporting the actual framing of the house. So when we open this up, there's no framing holding it up. Right. So we don't want it to collapse. So we've created kind of a cocoon on the inside. This wall will keep all the humidity out and stop the original hardwood floor from bowing and warping. Now what we've got is the ability to kind of make it a better version of itself but hiding from everybody, really, except for maybe this video, that yeah. we, ever, we ever touched it, yeah. you know, which is kind of cool.